Do you ever wish Jennifer Lawrence would make a movie where she plays a blonde Russian chick who enrolls in how to fuck school? Well, buckle up, sickos. Welcome to Movies with James. This episode is brought to you by Bulby. Vote for Bulby. Today we are talking about Red Sparrow. Vote for Bulby. Today we are talking about Red Sparrow. That's the wrong movie, but they both star Jennifer Lawrence, involve birds, and are directed by Francis Lawrence, who also did Constantine and I Am Legend. Not really relevant to this review, but I like those movies. So Red Sparrow, of course, stars Jennifer Lawrence, Joel Edgerton, who, by the way, I just learned is Australian. That's a new fact right there. Jeremy Irons, Jolie Richardson, Matthias, I'm not even going to try it, and Nancy Botwin. So I'm not going to give away anything in this movie, unlike Jennifer Lawrence, who gave it all away. First Mother, now Red Sparrow. Jennifer's really upping her get naked game. But I guess ever since the fappening, what's the point of not doing a nude scene? Which is great. It's great. Feminism. Can you shut the fuck up? But if you fucking listen, shut the fuck up! Anyways, here's the gist of the plot. Jennifer Lawrence plays a Russian ballerina who one day eats shit on stage and ends up with a basketball fracture. Now this messes up her career. You see, you can't ballerina very well when you have a fucking bone sticking out of your leg. So, Jennifer the Gimp goes to her uncle for help because she's a poor Russian stereotype. So, the uncle, who's some kind of Russian spy, tells her, well, there's only one thing you can do. You gotta join the Russian Academy for how to fuck American spies. That's the only option. Now this really confused me, because it seems that going to a how to weaponize your sexuality school would be a last resort. You'd think she'd at least look for other options first. And also, if you're trying to make money as a hot Russian chick, there's sites for that. Regardless, she chooses the most sexually exploitative and dangerous way of making money and joins the Academy, where of course she excels because she's the main character, and that's what they do. She's then assigned a mission to seduce Joel, the American spy. It's then a whole game of double agents and counterintelligence and overall gotcha moment. Along the way, you have a heavy dose of sex, rape, exploitation, graphic violence, excessive nudity, torture, and more sex. Now, a lot of people will probably feel this movie's overly brutal and excessively shocking, but I grew up in a world with this kind of stuff, so nothing shocks me. And I'm sure all the critics are going to commend the cast and the director for being so brave and filming such difficult subject matter. Fuck off. Give me a million dollars and see how brave I am on screen. Now, did I like the movie? Yeah. I went into the movie not expecting a lot. All I really wanted to see was Jennifer Lawrence in that classy, yet also not at all classy swimsuit. In fact, this movie could have been called The Swimsuit of Ambiguous Classiness, starring Jennifer Lawrence, and I still would have gone. Fortunately, the movie delivered a lot more than just that. Some would say, too much. The story is definitely of intermediate comprehension level, but it almost takes a back seat to all the messed up stuff going on in the movie. The story is almost a secondary reason to watch it. My biggest issue with the movie though, is the fact that the Russians didn't speak Russian. They spoke English with a Russian accent. I get it's for an American audience, but it's just tacky. It's the same reason I don't watch Vikings. I'm also really sick of these Cold War movies. I'm over it. America, Russia, uh, I'm over it. It's not even a competition anymore. Have you seen Russia's GDP? It's a joke. Hollywood, can we please have a little creativity? Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, time to rate this movie. Drum roll, please. 52. This movie's getting a 52. I'll put the uh, breakdown right here so you can uh, comment complaints and get mad that I'm wrong. 
I'm all cool with that. So 52, that's actually pretty close to the Rotten Tomato score, um, and I think it's a perfect score for this movie. This movie's right in the middle. It's not bad, but it's not amazing. The hypersexuality and excessive violence makes it exciting, but it's just overcompensating for a otherwise whatever plot. Despite all this, this movie's actually very important to me because it showed me what my true calling is in this world. That's right. I hereby denounce my American citizenship. I'm joining the Red Army where I will use my hypersexual energy to seduce female spies and steal national secrets and hearts. Godspeed, comrades. I'm ready to fuck. But I'm just very upset right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. But I'm not gonna stop yelling because then that'll mean I lost the fight.